next bout will be three two minute rounds in the bantamweight division. Making his way to the cage out of the blue corner, Michael Schuster. Michael Schuster, one and one, age 30, weighed in at 135 pounds, five foot six, southpaw out of switch Muay Thai. And Michael's one of those real tough, scrappy southpaws with a submission to his name. Really favors that right hook, left straight to line it up. But he also has good tempo changes, good footwork, and he, you know, in turn, that same combo, he might go to it a lot, but he lines it up really, really well, and then he'll add some low kicks in there. Then the credentials of the grappling submission to his name, it really, you, you know, he mixes it up very, very well. Well, at this age, stage in their amateur careers, almost the more basic you keep your strike and the better it looks. Because you're just putting in those reps at those smaller things. I love the guys who have a combo package they use, and then they'll just add different things here and there to it. And that's what you need. The higher you go up, you'll just see like John Jones, he has certain things you know he's gonna do is gonna use his long jab. And his opponent that side making his kick. way to the cage out of the red corner. Antonio Hayes. Gentlemen, this next battle will be three two minute rounds in the bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the David Shapiro attorney's blue corner. He holds a record of one win, one defeat. He stands five feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, representing Switch Muay Thai and fighting out of San Diego, California. Here is Michael Schuster. And his opponent fighting across the cage, fighting out of the Royal Collision Center red corner. He is making his MMA debut. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, representing Nubians MMA and fighting out of Inglewood. Here is Antonio Hayes. Your referee in charge of the action, Chris the Grippler Lieben. You never know what these debuters are bringing. You know, there's there's no there's no video footage to look up on them. See, so you, you essentially have to be prepared for anything. A little bit of anything, but knowing the Nubians, they're heavy, heavy on the strike side. Heavy on the striking side. Look at this dance. Look, ready to come out striking, pressing forward, taking the distance. Nice switch to stance. Ooh, hard Oh, hit. nice. Oh! oh! The check hook. Over. There he goes for the guillotine. Using the cage, using the cage. Punch, punch, punch. Oh! He is big oh. Oh! oh! Face plant! Face plant! Oh, oh my oh. goodness! Oh my oh. goodness! Oh my goodness! That's a high oh. five to Nubia's head, coach! That's how you face plant. That is a debut. Yeah. <laughs> Just came in firing. The check hook right there. Puts him down. Looks for the sub. Realizes he doesn't have it. And just opens up with the power. With the power. Yeah, you saw, you saw it, you saw it. He, the, the killer instinct just checked in. He knew he had him hurt. He knew he had him hurt. 
gave him a couple good looks. And that's a hard part about that's a hard part about fighting a debuter. You know, you you could fight and the new Anderson Silva on his first amateur fight. And he looked great. He looked fast and he powerful. Stands, he showed good defense. That's a lot of confidence. What I really like, usually the Nubians great strike. But the way he set up that standing guillotine, recognized he didn't have it, but knew he had the guy in trouble. Referee Chris Lieben calls a stop to the contest at 33 seconds of the very first round for your winner by TKO out of the red corner, Antonio Hayes. When he went down, that's called a